Bayard Rustin was born on March 17, 1912 in Westchester, Pennsylvania, and was a leader during the American Civil Rights Movement. Rustin was often left out of the narrative of well-known civil rights leaders because of his sexuality. Rustin was a key, behind-the-scenes leader of the Black Civil Rights Movement, a proponent of nonviolent protest, a mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and the principal organizer of the landmark 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. I bring to you the executive director of the March on Washington, the man who organized this whole thing, Mr. Bayard Rustin. The first demand is that we have effective civil rights legislation, no compromise, no filibuster, and that it includes public accommodation, decent housing, integrated education, FEPC, and the right to vote. What do you say? He was gay and open about it, which had everything to do with why he remained in the background and is little known today in comparison to other leaders of the civil rights movement. My name is Walter Nagel and Bayard Rustin was the love of my life. I met Bayard on a corner at 42nd Street and 7th Avenue, Times Square in 1977. I was 27 years old and he was 65. There was this tall, handsome, very attractive man standing next to me and we looked at each other and I was pretty much toast. Bayard was open about his being gay, really from his teenage years. He just believed in being his authentic self and speaking his own truth. Reston experienced one of the lowest points in his career in 1960. And the author of this crisis was another black leader, Representative Adam Clayton Powell Jr. of New York. Powell was angry that Rustin and King were planning a march outside of the Democratic National Convention in Los Angeles, and he warned King that if he did not drop Rustin, Powell would tell the press King and Rustin were gay lovers. Even though Powell made this demand for his own malicious reasons, King, in one of his weaker moments, called off the march and put distance between himself and Rustin. Rustin also reluctantly resigned from the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, which was led by King. For that, King lost, quote, much moral credit in the eyes of the young, end quote, the writer James Baldwin wrote in Harper's Magazine. Fortunately for us, Rustin put the movement ahead of this vicious personal slight. Rustin was punished several times for his beliefs. During World War II, he was jailed for two years when he refused to register for the draft. In January 1953, Rustin was arrested and sentenced to jail for 60 days for having sex with a man and forced to register as a sex offender. With the passage of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Voting Rights Act in 1965, Rustin's talents and tireless work were transferred to human rights and the gay rights movement. In the 1970s and 80s, he worked as a human rights and election monitor for Freedom House and also testified on behalf of the New York State's Gay Rights Bill. During the 1980s, Rustin also opened up publicly about his sexuality. This coincided with his falling in love with Walter Nagel, now serving as executor and archivist of Rustin's estate. In a 1987 interview with The Village Voice, Rustin said, quote, I think the gay community has a moral obligation to do whatever is possible to encourage more and more gays to come out of the closet, end quote. For his part, he worked to bring the AIDS crisis to the attention of the NAACP, once predicting, quote, 25, 30 years ago, the barometer of human rights in the United States were black people. 
that is no longer true. The barometer for judging the character of people in regard to human rights is now who consider themselves gay, homosexual, and lesbian." End quote. Apart from his career as an activist, Rustin was fun-loving, mischievous, artistic, gifted with an amazing singing voice, and was well-known as an art collector who sometimes found museum-quality pieces in New York City trash. Historian John D. Amillo calls Rustin the, quote, lost prophet of the civil rights movement. Bayard Rustin died from a ruptured appendix on August 24, 1987, at the age of 75. In Rustin's New York Times obituary, he identifies his partner, Walter, as his, quote, administrative assistant and adopted son, end quote. Bayard had adopted Walter in 1982. Before marriage equality, adoption was one of the few ways for same-sex couples to protect each other's legal rights. In 2013, he was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Walter Nagel, accepting on behalf of his partner, Bayard Rustin. Bayard Rustin was a giant in the American civil rights movement, openly gay at a time when many had to hide who they loved. His unwavering belief that we are all equal members of a single human family took him from his first freedom ride to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender rights movement. Thanks to his unparalleled skills as an organizer, progress that once seemed impossible appears in retrospect to have been inevitable. Fifty years after the March on Washington he organized, America honors Bayard Rustin as one of its greatest architects for social change and a fearless advocate for its most vulnerable citizens. In February 2020, the California Governor Gavin Newsom pardoned Rustin on the anti-gay charge from 1953. Thank you for watching and learning more about Bayard Rustin. Subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. As always, we will continue to highlight the voices and stories of the TLGBQ plus communities of color on our page.